All right, guys, finally, we are very excited to offer you guys uh, this build right here. We've been uh, roughly eight months into this particular project. Uh, this is first and foremost a fully built in house Jeep Cherokee two door five speed XJ uh, built up, fully restored. Everything is absolutely brand new on this Jeep. The only thing that really remains original. Uh, is the glass, the door handles, of course the body, but everything paint-wise is brand new. Uh, axle housings, um, and that's really it. Everything on this thing has been completely upgraded. Beautiful top-of-the-line parts. Aesthetically, it's gorgeous. Extremely capable. We're going to go ahead and do a walk-around. Uh, this is going to be a three-portion video. Uh, it's typically what we do with our larger builds like this just to really go through the detail with you guys to show you exactly what we did. I'm going to miss a lot of small things, uh, but just starting off, just to give you guys a 90% a uh, rundown on the Jeep. Uh, starting off with the body, sanded down to the metal, all new primer, 2K primer, base coat, clear coat, two coats of clear completely wet sanded and compounded down uh, does have our Kevlar package on there long arm suspension lift Fox Reservoir shocks Rubicon Express steering components 456 gears drive shaft slip yoke eliminator uh, we have spider lock B lock wheels with a graphite gray ring that is a, um, a plasti dip ring we didn't want to powder coat it because some people don't want it permanent uh, 34 inch Nitto trail tires Everything uh, brake wise is upgraded, drilled and slotted, brand new rotors, high performance calipers up front, rear disc brake conversion in the back. So you have rear rotors, calipers, and pads, all stainless steel brake lines. Obviously, you have all your upfront accessories, bumpers, winch, stingers, uh, the whole nine. The motor, brand new motor, 30 over, new crankshaft, can shaft, pistons, rings, rods, lifters. Uh, everything is absolutely brand new motor wise like I mentioned earlier it is a five-speed you have a new clutch new flywheel everything's been serviced inside there interior is completely custom leather seats heated seats new carpet dyno matted floor uh, literally uh, I could go on and on this is a chili pepper red Cherokee like I mentioned, we did two coats of clear coat, so you have plenty of clear for years of wet sanding. I do want to point out, too, on the Fox Reservoir Shock, uh, we have green tape around the clamps because some people uh, want to mount the uh, reservoir where they want to. And uh, where we clamp down on the clamps, it will mess up the stickers. So... Uh, that is just green tape on the reservoir shock that can completely come off. Obviously flat bushwhacker flares, rear tire carrier, full fifth wheel, rear view mounted camera in the back. Up top on the rack, take a look, it is a low profile single row 30 inch black LED light bar. That light bar has a three-year full warranty for condensation. It also has a vent release as well. Vehicle uh, does have a long arm suspension system, four and a half through five and a half inch. It's option on how you want to adjust it, obviously. You do have rear adjustable shackles as well. We do have it on the higher shackle setting in the back to give it a little bit of uh, you know, room in the back. Leaf springs will settle over time. So the back we have sitting up about a half inch more than the front. We have 3M tent on the vehicle. That's a lifetime warranty tent. It's not a cheap tent, 3M. Uh, there's facilities all across the United States where if anything goes wrong with your tent it's fully warrantied. We didn't smoke it out. We went with a nice clean 35. Up front we have obviously truck light LED headlights, worn LED cube lights. Those are warrantied as well. 
the worn logo is in red so it really goes well with the Jeep synthetic 9500 pound winch in addition to the new engine everything affiliated with the engine cooling wise is new new radiator water pump thermostat hoses uh, it's a it's a high flow water pump in there same thing with the AC system new AC compressor receiver dryer evaporator orifice tube all the plumbing's new uh, like I said guys there's nothing that is original on this Jeep well very little pro comp true HID lights up top those lenses are in yellow they're completely removable those are just caps they come off and it's a clear lens with a silver border looks really nice down below you have all Rubicon Express components uh, as far as the tie rod bar tie rod ends track bar like I mentioned earlier Fox Reservoir shocks 456 gears gives this thing plenty of pep we also did our Kevlar front grill and light bezels as well those are true authentic truck light LED headlights they are not replicas we also smoked the amber lenses all the way around. You have some very nice black worn cube lights. As you see, we take a lot of time with our 12 volt. As you see, instead of running the wires uh, down the bar with zip ties, it gets drilled through there. We have grommets uh, in there as well. So we spend days and days with a build like this doing all the 12 volt stuff. Uh, any two wires that have to come together on this Jeep, uh, they are going to be soldered together to make one real wire, then heat shrunk, and then wire loom. There are zero connection butts anywhere on this Jeep. We also have a Defender top rack. Gorgeous set of spider lock wheels. 295 70 17 Nitto Trail tires. And that is a graphite ring followed with a brand new graphite pinstripe going all the way down. Of course, when we did our uh, paint and body, we got rid of any imperfections in the body so the body straight as can be. We have our Kevlar rockers as well. Nice 35% tint gives it a nice clean look. If you're looking at this, I'm sure you're fully aware how rare the two door is, especially matched with the five speed. Super clean, low profile, single row LED up top. When we do these builds, we spend a lot of time uh, on fit and finishes. The underneath of the Jeep is absolutely beautiful. All grade 8 hardware. Uh, all these lifts, uh, they don't come with grade 8 hardware. We install that on our own. So every nut and bolt on this truck, uh, for the most part, 90% of it is all grade 8 hardware.
quick disconnect uh, sway bar end links as well. So up front, everything's brand new. You have a brand new Rubicon Express tie rod bar, tie rod ends, uh, extreme duty track bar, drop down bracket, uh, drag link bar is new, steering stabilizer, uh, brand new brakes, rotors, calipers, pads, brake lines. The uh, only thing that remains original on the front of this truck for the most part is are, are the knuckles and the axle housing. Uh, inside the diff, you have brand new 456 ring and pinions. Uh, master rebuild kit, uh, full synthetic fluid, and of course a G2 uh, diff cover. Obviously with the new engine, uh, it gets all new seals, oil pan gasket, rear main seal, of course all that stuff. Take a peek inside the Jeep, you'll see our two-tone custom interior as well, which we'll get into that in the next video. I mean, the body is just absolutely straight as can be. Roof was also painted. Full exhaust system as well. So we have a full set of, or full, we have a full header, uh, downpipe, high flow cat, performance muffler, tailpipe, and tip. So every single a uh, portion of the exhaust system, including the header, has been replaced and upgraded. You have a very nice diamond cut tip right there at a nice angle. We side mount the reservoir shock so you can see it from the side. Integrated tow hitch in the rear bumper as well as a rear camera. There's a nice shot of your brand new rear disc brakes. All stainless steel brake lines, of course. Full leaf springs, adjustable shackles. We sand down the uh, axle housings, put a fresh coat of paint on them. Also have all your skid plates. Brand new drive shaft, slip yoke eliminator. There's your high flow cat welded into your brand new muffler. All new seals. Pinion seals, all that good stuff. Like I said guys, there's very little on this thing that's going to be original. So this will uh, go ahead and lead into our second video, which is going to be below this, which is going to be the interior. Uh, we spend uh, an equal amount of time on the interior and attention to detail as we do the exterior. Uh, and after that, we'll have our drivability video.